guys. Um, welcome to Year 2 Science. We are in the STEM lab. Welcome to the teachers. Hi, I'm Mrs Luxford. I teach Grade 2. Hi, I'm Miss Planning and I also teach Year 2. And you know who I am. I'm Miss Khan and I'm now on Year 2 as well. So today we're going to start our lessons um, with All Mixed Up. Our first lesson is called Just Add Water. But before, you, before we get into it, please like and subscribe and hit the bell down below so you get notifications when new science lessons come up. Hi students, below us on the table we can see the ingredients and the materials that we need to make our science experiment just add water. It's really important that you ask mum and dad for help and to be able to use the ingredients. The only real ingredient out of your pantry that we're going to need today is corn flour, that's this bag here. Yours might look a little bit different but as long as it says corn flour, the experiment will still work. You'll also need some water, some cup measures, we have half a cup here, a quarter of a cup here, one tablespoon, that's the words with TBSP in big letters, a mixing spoon and a mixing bowl. Once you've got all this ready, you can press unpause, but press pause now so you can get your experiment looking like mine. Press stop, stop. Okay, our first step boys and girls is to put the corn flour into the mixing bowl. Now I need a quarter cup of corn flour, which is this cup here, where it says quarter cup. I'm getting my corn flour, and I'm going to pour it carefully into the cup, not to spill and make much mess. Ooh, okay, make a little bit of mess. Now I might just get my spoon, make sure I've measured it accurately. Now I'm going to pour it into the mixing bowl over here. First step done. <laughs> Do you want to stop? Okay, our next step is going to be is to add some water to the corn flour. So I'm going to be using my one tablespoon. I'm going to get some water and I've got this in a nice big bowl. And I'm just going to pour it gently into the bowl. And leave that there. Now I'm going to mix it. I can see some things are starting to change. Oh, it's a little bit hard to mix that. Oh, sometimes it's getting hard and sometimes it's a bit soft. You might need to use a bit of muscle power to get that going because some parts of it's getting a bit chunky. Miss Khan, it looks very gooey. It when, is. If you felt that, do you think it would leave your fingerprint in there? No, I'm going to make a prediction that if I touched it, it would be like milk. That's what I. That's the prediction I'm making. That's so interesting. Shall I do it? Yes, please. Oh, it's actually not like milk, as my ha my finger hardly got wet at all. It does look like milk, but it doesn't feel like it milk. Does look like milk very gooey it is and it's very tricky to um, to stir so maybe you might need to get a, um, a a normal silver spoon rather than a plastic one because I think I might wrap this one. <laughs> I wonder what um, our next step says think of words to describe the mixture can anyone think of any words that would describe the mixture if you can think of one please write it down on your scrapbook or on your piece of paper where you're keeping your scientific journal to me, it looks smooth, but it does not look tasty. <clears throat> to me, it looks lumpy. But to it me, does it looks look... a bit sloppy. Yeah, great words. Miss Khan, it says the next step, step number five, oh, is oh. to add the rest of the water to the bowl. So that would be another bit of water, maybe two like tablespoons of water. Bit of water and see what happens then. What do you okay. think, Miss Flanagan? What do you think will happen when Miss Khan adds the water? I think the mixture will get a bit more um, 
watery. Liquidy. Liquidy. Absolutely. Yeah. Me yeah, too. I right. think that. Oh. I'm just going to add one and then I'm going to mix it because I don't want the experiment to go totally crazy. So we just do it gently. So a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time is always important. Oh, now that is a smoother. different consistency mm. now. That does actually feel like milk. It looks like milk. Now I'm going to make a prediction this time that when I touch it, it will feel like milk. And it does. See, you can see it dripping. So we've gone from a powder with the corn flour and then to sort of a solid when we mixed it together, the water absorbed into the corn flour and made the corn flour more solid. But when we added more water, it became a solution and all of the corn flour dissolved in the water. It has totally dissolved now. So now our water and our corn flour is one. We could not separate that if we tried. We couldn't sieve it out, no, we couldn't pick we it out. Not. It's a solution. So this is what we call a solution because we can't pull the two ingredients apart now. Okay, so our experiment here is finished, but I still have some more questions, boys and girls. And I wonder if I put more corn flour into the solution, what would happen? Would it stay as a solution? Would it turn into a mixture? Or would it turn solid? What so, do you predict is going to happen? I think it's going to become more solid again. I think so too, because we're putting the same amount of corn flour back into our solution. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's, all, it's already a bit harder to mix. Straight away, I can tell that the mixture is harder to mix. It's turning back into a goopy, oh, messy It's very solid. hard. Miss Khan has just Thank found you, a, Ms. Khan. Oh, a better Perfect. spoon. Perfect. It's a little bit harder. To, a bit easier to do oh. with a harder spoon. Very it's tricky. You're really using your muscles oh, to get in there. Right. Oh. oh, look at that. Oh, gooey, yeah. gooey. Miss Flanagan, I would really love to see some fingers in that gooey, gooey mess. All and right. See what what it about feels. you? Oh. Have it. You can I'm, have I, I would love to come and have a play with the sticky mess. It actually Let feels really it. dry. It looks. It that looks. It's we're getting stuck on my that. fingernails. I don't know if you can see. I don't think it's turned into a liquid because look, it's almost, you can't pour it out really, could you? So there are some parts in there that are still runny. There are some parts in there that are solid and dry. But let's see if we can mix it together. And boys and girls, it's turning into a crumbly, crumbly mess. When I touch it, it's, it goes really hard. But if I let it go, it turns into a liquid. So if I squeeze it, it is a solid. I can make it into a ball like Play-Doh. But if I let it go, it turns back into a liquid. And then if I squeeze it again, it turns into a solid and then goes oh, back wow. to a liquid. I squeeze it again, solid to liquid. Boys and girls, please play with your mess. Please play with this as much as you want, but make sure you wash your hands afterwards and don't get it on your mum and dad's couch <laughs> because they probably won't like that on the fabric. But you can squeeze and then watch it dissolve, Miss <laughs> Flanagan. Come Being on. a scientist is so fun, boys and girls. I love experimenting with different materials. Oh, I want to have a go. Oh, mine stayed solid. Oh, here we go. It's getting into a gooey mess. Squeeze it again, solid, and it starts melting into my fingers again. Does yours do that too, boys and girls? If you've done your experiment just like we have, our experiment should be the same. But if you've changed yours a little bit, if yours isn't going solid to, to liquid, you'll need to maybe add some more corn flour or some water. That's when it's a good idea to ask a parent for some help. They might be able to suggest some ways to make yours look like ours. Well, I have something a little bit different with mine, Mrs. Lux of the Biscuits. If you have a look at mine, see how mine is not really changing? Why do you think mine is not changing and yours was? 
Well, Miss Khan, I'm not sure, but yours looks very dry compared to mine. Yes. Mm. So you might need to do something. Do? What do you think, Miss Khan, would make it more wet, maybe more liquidy? What could we add in? Because I think when um, Miss Flanagan was doing hers, I don't think she mixed it all the way to the bottom. And I think I've just got the dry bits. So I think maybe if I added a little bit of water, it might end up being gooey like yours. That's Do you think, Miss Khan, that would, it, you would add the same amount of water, so a big spoon? I think I would just like to try a little bit at a time. That's a good idea. A little just bit for your experiment. a little bit at a time. I'm just going to add one tiny little spoon. And then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get in there with my hands, guys. Yeah, and I think now it's all sort of mixed together. And I hope now mine's going to get gooey because I really like you playing with that goo. Yep, there you go. So super gooey. What a good problem solver. What do you think would happen if we added a little bit of colour to this? Shall we give it a go? Oh, oh. that would be great. <laughs> I think it would turn out like a bit. What colour do you have? I hope oh, you we have, have pink green. this oh, time. I was thinking if it was green, do you think it would look like snot? Oh, oh. Like, let me just um, Let's see if we have some green. And I'll see if I can find some green. Over here in our pantry, we're just having a look for some green food colouring. But boys and girls, it's really good to always be asking questions because scientists, that's what they do. They make predictions and yes. they ask questions all the time. Unfortunately, we have no green. Oh, no pink, green, pink so pink it is. is going to have to be it. And also, if something doesn't work, you're, um, you're absolutely allowed to try something new and just say, you know what, I wonder what would happen if I added a little bit more water. I wonder what would happen if I added oh. a little bit more corn flour. I think I need a bit more water, Miss Khan. It's very hard to mix. It's getting very hard. Who's going to be the brave scientist that just gets in there with their fingers? Okay. I'll do it. Since my okay. No, me. Oh, oh, me, Miss Khan. <laughs> I like how we have um, solved that problem and not fought with our um, peers. Okay. And if you're doing this with your brothers and sisters, make sure you're taking, taking turns. Taking turns. Too. Okay. I better give Miss Khan a turn now. Lots of fun though. Thank you. It's marbly at the moment, isn't it? Look at it. A little crumbly. I think, what do you think if it's marbly, if it's a bit crumbly like that? What do we need to do again? Add, add some more liquid. Add some more liquid. I'm just going to add a little bit actually because it is crumbly. Oh, Would you like me to like Miss Khan? It looks like a nice chocolate there, doesn't it? Do you want to have a turn, Miss Luxford? Yes, please, Miss Khan. Maybe we'll add some, add some water. 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 Bit of water. Now, I'm just putting a few drops of water in, maybe half a spoon, and then I'm just going to go straight in with my fingers and mix it all up. As we're playing with it, it's getting drier and drier. Um, it could just be that the air is absorbing some of the water out of the bowl or that the cornflour is being really, really mixed in. So I think I still need a tiny little bit more water to make it back to sort of a gooey, sticky, solid and then a liquid. All right, we are ready. Watching carefully because this might go quickly. It's a solid ball that turns into a liquid. And when you squeeze it, it turns back into a solid. So we have our mixture just right. Boys and girls, the last part of this experiment is to name your solution or mixture. You will need to think of a really creative name for what we've just created. Now, if you've seen some experiments like this before, it already does have a name but your one might be a different color, made by different people. So make sure you give it a different name. You can let us know by emailing your class teacher the special name that you have given to our mixture. Thank you so much for joining us today. And if you have any questions, you know where to reach us. Hi scientists, it's now time to do our last part of our experiment, which is our reflection. Our reflection is really important because we need to know the things that we've learned and we need to ask some more questions about them and answer the questions to make sure we've learned about mixtures and solutions for our unit all mixed up and the lesson just add water. Soon you'll get some instructions um, and some questions 
you can show your teacher that you have done the experiment and your reflection by emailing, taking a photo, writing it on a piece of paper and bringing it into school. You could also um, send your teacher an email with all of your reflection questions and your feedback. And I would really like for some of them, I think some of the kids might be able to even um, write out a procedure. I think a procedure might be really good. And also, um, if, you, if your class uses class OneNote, you could also put your reflection on there. So the first question for your reflection is, why is it important to measure accurately? Now, accurately is the key word there. Why is it important to measure it accurately? Yeah. And the second question is, what happens when corn flour and water mix? So that was actually the experiment. What actually does happen when we mix the corn flour and the water? And you could answer that in different stages. What happens when we add a little bit of water and what happens when we add a lot of water? Thanks for joining us today and we really hope you've had fun with this Just Add Water science experiment for Grade 2 all mixed up. We had fun. See you next time.